Welcome back and good morning. It's 645 and breaking this morning. Simone Biles takes herself out of the all around events now saying she needs to take care of her mental health. Being an Olympic athlete takes a lot of determination, practice and training, but it also takes a great deal of mental strength. And that's something that doesn't really get talked about a lot. For more insight on what it takes to be mentally fit in moments of huge pressure, we turn now to mental toughness expert and U.S. Marine Eric Rittmeyer. We really appreciate you being back with us this morning to talk talk about this breaking news and let's start with this how emotional and mental well-being really Eric is just as important as physical health it sure is Lenny and it's one of these things where unfortunately you know we can't see what other people are thinking we don't know the pain they're going through we can see when somebody has a broken leg or has a black eye but what we can't see is what they're going through mentally there needs to be a lot more emphasis on what's going on internally letting people know that there's help out there, giving them a shoulder to cry on if they need it, and just letting them understand that your feelings are okay. It's how you respond to those feelings that's important. Yeah, and there's nothing to be ashamed of about it. So in this press event yesterday, Simone said athletes should be enjoying themselves right now, but that's just not the case. So how does someone prepare for this pressure that comes with a big stage like the Olympics? I mean, you, most of us can't even imagine. Yeah, we can, right? I'm not an Olympian, obviously. When you've seen the size of this head. I couldn't do any flips. I'd be <laughs> top heavy. So it's like we get put in these positions and we're sitting on the couch with our potato chips and pizza being like, oh, she didn't stick the landing. She put a toe outside the box. These are kids. If you think about it, they're young. They're 18, 19, 21, 22 years old. These are children that are put in positions where they have millions and millions of eyeballs on them that are required to perform under this extreme pressure. They train for the physical piece. They train for the mental piece as well. But unless you're in those shoes, you just can't relate to what they go through internally. I always think they should put a regular person in the Olympics so we can see <laughs> just how good these people are. So this is for anyone though, Eric, not just Olympians. When is it time for anyone to say enough is enough and take a step back? Yeah, this is the society we live in right now, Lindy. I do a lot of media on this, especially when it comes to boys and men. It's the inability to express how they feel and a feeling of weakness if we talk about struggles that we're having. We all go through it, right? The whole pandemic thing, we're going through this. I heard people say, well, we're all in the same boat. Well, we're not all in the same boat. We're all in the same storm. The boat we're on depends on how we came into this pandemic, what level of mental preparedness we're on. Some of us are on a 50-foot yacht with a full staff. Others of us were in a five-foot inflatable with a hole and, and mm -hmm. one paddle. So everybody enters in these things differently. We have to get much better at letting people know that what you're feeling is okay. Express it. Learn healthy ways to express how we feel. Eric Rittmeyer, mental toughness expert. Thanks so much for your help this morning. It was a pleasure having you on. Likewise, and it's awesome to see you again. Great to be back in studio. Aww.